petrol pump. How it works. Petrol pump. Apart from observing the dispensation of highly inflammable petrol, diesel and CNG, we will also observe the different methods of storage, refilling, purity checks. We will also understand the science behind dispensers, gauges and measuring devices. At the petrol station, we have air dispensers to fill air in the vehicle tyres. As per the requirement and vehicle specifications, petrol and diesel are in liquid form. Both are obtained from petroleum after fractional distillation. Petrol is more refined as compared to diesel and hence more expensive. Even in petrol, we have octane numbers to indicate superior quality. At a filling station, the petrol and diesel stock should be large. Where are petrol and diesel stored? Well, petrol and diesel are stored in very large metal and concrete tanks below the station. The tank capacity is usually 10,000 litres going up to 80,000 litres which is 10 meter cube to 80 meter cube. Now to imagine the volume of 1 meter cube, think of 1 litre water bottle. 1,000 litres make 1 meter cube. So to fill a 10 meter cube tank, 10,000 water bottles will be needed. Petrol and diesel evaporate more than water at normal environmental temperatures. The fuel is kept away from sunlight by a double walled cover. This reduces the evaporation due to atmospheric temperature variation. A small opening of diameter about 8 cm allows filling from a supply tanker and the fuel stock is checked by inserting a long stainless steel dipstick. The dipstick is calibrated to measure the volume of petrol or diesel in the tank. The tank cover is made of strong metal with a cross for identification. These days a small probe, a device is fitted in the tank. This allows the tank and fuel visual to be seen on the computer screen on the manager's desk. Did you know that the purity of the fuel is checked daily and it is mandatory for the petrol station staff to display the result at several locations? There are two methods used for purity check. The filter paper test and density using hydrometer and thermometer. The filter paper test. For this, a fine grain filter paper is used. A few drops of petrol or diesel are put on the filter paper. The liquid evaporates quickly. If a ring is formed, making a patch on the paper, then the fuel is contaminated. But if the fuel evaporates without leaving any mark or patch or stain, the fuel is pure. Another simple test is to check the density using a hydrometer and a thermometer. How can the density of a fuel at a certain temperature indicate its purity? Well, as we know, density is mass per unit volume. Any variation will show lighter or heavier, but similar liquid may have been added to the fuel. The density of the fuel at a given temperature should match the value as provided by the oil company. Hydrometers work on the law of flotation. When placed in a fluid, the weight of the hydrometer is equal to the weight of the fluid displaced by it. That is why the graduations on the hydrometer stem are from small to larger value starting from the top. The markings on the hydrometers to check the density of petrol and diesel are different. For diesel, the density range is 0.800 gram per centimeter cube. 
to 0.850 gram per centimeter cube and for petrol the density range is 0.700 gram per centimeter cube to 0.750 gram per centimeter cube did you know petrol is lighter than diesel temperature changes change the density of the fuel so it is important to note the temperature of the environment at a particular time on a particular day since the storage tank containing the fuel is far below the ground level dispensing units need pumps the switches for pumps are connected through a lever with the nozzle when we reach the station for petrol or diesel the attendant asks us the type of fuel and makes a spark in front of the suitable dispensing unit he or she enters our request on the digital display for example how much fuel we need he or she asks us to open the inlet of our fuel tank and check the reading on the dispensing machine this should be 0 0 0 zero he or she then lifts the nozzle and places it in the inlet of our vehicle tank the pump starts and so does the petrol flow into the tank the display shows one petrol or diesel given in liters two how much is the total bill at the rate displayed and then takes the money from us after giving an electronically generated receipt then we are ready to drive off compressed natural gas or cng is a challenge for storage as well as dispensing as you can see the dispensing unit is different cng at a high pressure of 200 to 240 kg force per cm square is filled using a special nozzle at a time four wheelers can fill 8 to 10 kg of gas for three wheelers only 3 to 4 kg of gas is allowed because the pressure is so high and the gas is highly inflammable so the passengers are made to get off from the vehicle and stand in a safe area the pressure gauge shows the inlet and outlet pressures the attendant keeps a strict vigil on this we can also see that the gas is not allowed to leak by using rubber washers only trained personnel are employed for gas dispensing job the gas company directly monitors the gas stock by suitable devices which include a pump an indicator starts blinking the moment gas pressure decreases the gas is pressurized at the station and stored in metal cylinders painted white for identification notice that the cylinders are placed horizontally in piles there are several attendants near the cng dispensing units one for filling one to watch the gauges one for keeping passengers safe and one more to check the safety around the dispensing unit and the supply pipes remember unlike lpg liquefied petroleum gas used for cooking at home which is a liquid cng is a gas air filling station another important job at the petrol station is that of air filling Rubber tires are used in vehicles for ease of driving. They should be in inflated condition to roll on the road surface. The requirement of gas pressure for any vehicle depends upon its design and use. It differs from two wheelers to larger heavy duty trucks like 16 wheelers. Air supply is at a high pressure of 100 to 200 kg force per cm square. A compressor is used to pressurize air and store it in a big cylinder. The attendant chooses the pressure value prescribed for our vehicle, reaches the nozzle to the value and fills air. A buzz tone indicates that the air entire is the required value. 
The filling is in PSI pound per square inch or kilogram force per centimeter square. Atmos pressure is equal to 1.033 kilogram force per centimeter square and 33 PSI is equal to 2.246 kilogram force per centimeter square. So, when we hear 30 to 33 at the air filling point, it means the air pressure for the vehicle is in pound per square inch. Did you know the tire pressure is about two times the atmospheric pressure? We have seen how petrol, diesel, CNG and air are dispensed. Now we will see the safety measures at the petrol station, sand buckets, fire extinguishers, ABC mode, first aid kits, warning signs. One of the most important responsibilities of citizens using vehicles that run on fossil fuel is to keep their vehicles under pollution control. It is mandatory to have a certificate of pollution under control from an authorized dealer. We also have a pollution checkpoint which checks the emission from the vehicle. The emission should be under control so that we don't pollute the environment we live in. The exhaust from the running vehicle is put on a probe by inserting the probe in the exhaust pipe. The machine checks the level of oxides of nitrogen and sulphur. The inhalation of these is harmful to humans. Some unburnt, suspended particles may also be emitted. A certificate is given to the owner which should be provided to any authorized person who needs to check the emission from the vehicle. We have learnt how a very important commodity fuel is dispensed at the petrol station. We know that it is difficult to transport goods and humans without fuel as of today. So, it is our collective responsibility to use fuel with care, avoiding waste and keeping all safety measures uppermost in our mind at all times.